if you didn't hear that from me, you heard from the Boondocks. So. I'm wondering where uh, where Canada is to get in Kage's corner. I see nobody around. I see no Canadians around. It must be Boxing Day. <laughs> what is Boxing Day? I know it's the day after Christmas, and I know it's, it's a major. All right, holiday. all right. Um, it looks like we're actually starting brackets in uh, melee. This is the first round of winners. Um, I want to apologize again to the stream for uh, last night. Uh, we were having issues with the internet, probably because it was Saturday night in a college campus and uh, the internet was really flicking out on us. Uh, we've now been running for the last uh, two hours and we have not dropped a single frame. So the internet is running very well right now. And, uh, we're on. We're, we're on. on. Okay, there we go. Game one. I assume Fox is PC Chris? Yep, indeed. PC, PC Chris is Calgated Warrior. Fox on Ganon. So, um, First bracket match of the day. Uh-huh. Very interesting matchup. So, um, so Fox is doing nothing but hit and run. That's the only thing he really can do. He doesn't want to be anywhere near nope. Ganon for stuff you, like that. You can't trade because Ganon has a lot of stuff to edge guard with. And it's not like any of his moves don't have amazing amounts of knockback. So. Nice down smash by PC. Put the lugs on him with the back air. Jumping out of it. Very smart. He didn't even want to give him a chance to get back. He jumped out after the down B. Shined him out. First stock going to PC. That's one thing that makes this match very hard for Gannon, though. When, uh, when Fox shines Gannon on the ground, Gannon does not fall over. And if you're on point with your wave shines, you can literally walk Gannon to the edge before you down smash him. You got to watch out for them back airs, though. Yep, They're so strong. Him. It's not like Kage can't gimp. Those up airs from, Gan from Ganondorf, by all means, they are spacey destroyers. Yes. And, you know, that was one thing that was revolutionized by a guy named Thomas Tipman. So, shout out to him for helping with that Ganon metagame. See, he trades there. Good choice of the down smash. Keeping it easy, not worrying about trying to kill him off the top. It's a horizontal game as well, guys. Remember, it's not always about killing off the top. Mm, that fadeaway jumper. That's a Kage... Ooh. Very, very good. And he actually went up for PC. I don't know why PC didn't try to move too much. I know he didn't have a jump, but... And there we go. That's a Thomas Tipman. PC could have done a little bit more movement when he came back to the stage. It's okay as long as he hits his edge guard. Nice fake, making a Kage think he was going to the left. Kage got scared, came to the stage, got kicked in the mouth with the up smash. 2-2. Two -two. Kage coming off the top rope. Nice. Keeping PC contained. PC doing a good job pulling up, but he got hit. Kage showing a Kage. very unorthodox move that new sweater. Keep going. What he he was. I completely forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> he baited that reaction out of uh, PC Chris into a roll and punched him hard for it with the stomp. And eventually that momentum shift just got rid of PC stock. Right See, PC just waiting for that roll, putting that pressure on without throwing out a single move. Just walking away into that roll area. Right Beautiful now, spacer. Right now he's trying to scrap and get back in the middle without taking too much damage. He's on his last leg. Kage's on a lot of reverse fares. Catches him with a well spaced down tilt. Just clip the main clip. Chase across the stage. Pull it up, jab him in the mouth, clean him out with the forward air. Looking for the edge guard. And he just goes straight at him with the back air. Taking Why not? Game. Yes. Why not? Make sure you ensure it. Even, with, even if PC makes it back, you're down to one stock. It's Fox. Yeah. And it's one of the most vicarious, violent, intelligent boxes out there. Yes. That game opportunity, he will seize it if he gets the opportunity. Mm -hmm. Can't give it to him. Game one, going to Kage. Kage right. is a spacey killer when he gets the opportunity. I wonder what PC Chris is thinking for a counter pick. He, uh, right now, he gets a choice of stages. He's going Pokemon Stadium. Very, very good choice. Solid choice. Wide open gives Fox a lot of room to move with, but something that's very important, there's no top platform. So right. um, that's something Kage and every good Ganon loves to use. Get away from uh, Fox's strong short hop range and swoop down with a quarter. You're not going to see any of that. So uh, Kage's going to be have to be on point with his face if he wants to take game two. Yep. Also, I'm expecting to see a lot more Waveland trips off those two platforms from Kage. Ah, yeah. Just because his movement won't be on par with Fox's, but that might help. Gives him a bit more of that... Uh, that unpredictability. Uh -huh. He got a little bit predictable there with the down B. That wizard's foot missed and up smash. Why not? It's going to kill that percent. PC dancing around. He's only taking 30%. Double shine down smash. Kicked him in the face when he came up, but he, he didn't back up in time. Kage makes it back. But again, it was a wise choice of moves. He goes for the edge guard off the down smash. 
pushing his opponent to the edge. Good block by PC, falling back, gets jabbed in the mouth if you go in. He tried for a shine grab that time. Kage sniffed it out and rolled away. PC with a swift body. Three back airs. He doesn't jump out this time, trying to play safe, but he got kicked in the mouth. Ugh, Kage missed that wave land. That's pretty crucial right oh, now. Salvation Army stock just gave it to him. Does nothing off the grab. Down tilt, though. Up tilt. Kage doesn't throw out a move. PC jumps up with a full hop there and ends up connecting. Uh, but again, Gandorf don't want to trade. Man, he missed a wave oh, PC again. On, the, on the verge of a four stock. It's not an earned four stock, though. Hey. Huge, huge unforced errors in this game. Kage, he's a I see he's a little shook by it. He's not moving around as much. He's gotten in his head. I'm kind of actually surprised Kage didn't quit out. A lot of players would have quit out at this point just to try and uh, maintain some sort of momentum. I don't know where that force mask came from, but PC just kicked it out. Solid, yep. solid three stock win in game two for PC Chris. We got New York in the building behind PC and Kage is all alone. The Warrior stands alone. But does he really need anyone to have his back? We'll see. He's been cheered against before, and he's taken names before. He's taken heads. Right now, he's a uh, deep thought, staring off, trying to figure out where he wants to go. Battlefield is a very, very good choice. Yeah. Probably his best choice at this point. Maybe Yoshi's Story. Three will be up. Good option. I, I don't think he'd want to go Yoshi's Story. He wants a little bit of room. Well, I, I, I might be thinking wrong. He's, he's flashing Yoshi's Story on the mainstream. But um, he needs a little bit of room like battlefield room. He doesn't want PC to get inclined to stay on top of him. He can't get in if his offense going. But he decides to go to Yoshi's story for game three. Decides to um, put his winner's bracket berth on here. And we'll see what happens. I think if PC keeps up with these wave shots, down smashes, this match is his. All right. So again, small stage. You know, Randall might come to the rescue. And this is where PC and Randall, I mean, PC is notorious for somehow Randall being his best friend. Randall being the cloud that comes around periodically on the bottom side. Yep. Out on fours, in on nines. I'd like to say it works on the clock. That's the only thing that is consistent on this stage. You'll see some shy guys flying around. Excuse me, some fly guys. They come out at any point in time. They can ruin DI. Right now, they're not going to ruin this beautiful three-stock match. Kage with a turnaround jab down tilt. No good. Well, it was good. Excuse me. Nothing, nothing really coming from it. Just quick scuffles. PC throwing that near plane out. That was a bad trade, though. Oh, Kage with the empty hop grab. And again, he's throwing up back airs, throwing out up airs, trying to make sure PC doesn't make it back. He had a good read on that illusion, but just spaced it too well. Called the roll from PC, threw him out with a forward air. Three to two. Kage just needs to make it back. That was kind of kind of awkward. PC hesitated a little bit to punish the um. Punish the down B. I guess doing a lot of up smashes trying to get back. I like how he's been making very good use of the side B. Gerudo Dragon is it's called. That's actually what it's called in the book. But um, he sees, I don't know how he does it, but he's been spacing it so that uh, PC can't punish it. A lot of people just try to throw that out, space it wrong, they get shield grabbed. But PC hasn't punished one yet. PC taking a ledge, forcing Kage to come up on stage. Kage trying to fight his way in the middle. PC staying on top of him, runs into a fadeaway fair. Now PC's trying to get back, he's successful. Also, quick thing you might notice there with that F tilt thrown out by Ganon. Ganon threw out the F tilt, but it was angled upwards, trying to knock down any aerial approach from PC first. Mm -hmm. It's one thing that's really, really useful in, in Ganon's match against Falcon, but he's trying to adapt it to this situation against Fox. Nice down smash to close out the second stock. PC can't get touched, though. <laughs> he got, he got touched. touched. <laughs> that hurt. PC down to his last stock. Nothing's changed, though. It's still Fox. It's still Yoshi's story. Mm, those are still some down oh. there. Those are two down there. Double D's on it. Nice cross cancel jab. PC was wise. He was running into death. <laughs> I'm actually surprised Kage didn't go out there for him. He's trying, he's trying to nickel and dime him if he can. He doesn't want to give him a free stock. Fox can give him. <laughs> he just blew him up with that down B. Nice. Kage takes down PC Chris.